How's it going, boys? So today, we're going to be playing the choice deck. Oh, yes. And this is what it is. So, four ops, two fair fishes, three sorin uh, sorin chanters, two D sparks, three drowned and locked, four murderous riders, four up, uh, uh, ups, uh, 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 some, yeah, okay. Well, no, ta no, well, l l l l How's it going, boys? Let's pretend that never happened. So today we're playing the choice, and it's pretty good. So we have four opts, two fair fishes, three sorens, thirsters, two two D sparks, three drown lock, four murderous, four murderous riders, uh, four abolishes, three mortifies, four chemists insides, four range of ravens, three kaisrats, and a bunch of lands. Twenty four lands to be specific, and a two point eight curve, and that actually has meaning. And in the sideboard, we have pretty much random MacGuffins, including Obnixilus and Ilgod Inheritance. Oh yes, so let me explain how this deck works. So, we try to survive until the point where we can play, uh, play 4 Revenges of Ravens. This deck has 24 lands, because the moment you go below a 3.0 average, uh, the game thinks that you kind of want lesser amounts of lands. So you, if you put under 24 lands in this deck, you will struggle to get to like 4 or 5 plus lands. Lands are not going to be the exact thing that the game wants you to give. And with a 2.8 average, the game kind of thinks that we're more or less something like an aggro-ish type of deck. Not to mention that standard's currently full of aggro, which also gives us benefits. Because this deck is literally designed to make the enemy choose between surrendering and well essentially surrendering. That, that's, that's, that's what we do, boys. That is literally what we do with this deck. And it's pretty good when it happens. Admittedly, the range of Ravens is not exactly the easiest card to play because the advantage you gain from it is, well, well, let's just say meek in a lot of cases. So, that's essentially how it goes. Not gonna tab this, don't wanna pay the life. Life gain is sparse in this realm. Oh, look at that. It's maybe a Boros deck. Oh, wow. I really like Boros. Not really. You know? I don't. I honestly don't. I don't like most things about Standard now. But, man, am I hyped for the new set, uh, set that is coming. Because, well, boys... That set is ma magnificent. Majestical and everything in between and in the middle. Not gonna lie. Okay, in the meantime, while Enemy Kun is deciding how he's gonna play his aggro cards, yeah, kinda, kinda saw that coming, honestly. We have a new Patreon to tank, and that new Patreon is the one and only... Axeli Matilla. Something like that. Jesus Christ, if that's not a fake name, I don't know what's a fake name anyway. So we're gonna do this, because if he even has a feather, well then boo-hoo-poo. Okay, we need to somehow figure out a way for him to land two things in the graveyard and then drown and lock and actually deal with this goddamn creature feature, because I don't want to deal with it, that's for sure. Maybe he has nothing. It looks like he has nothing. Well, even if he has something, Fey of Fishes will definitely decide to sacrifice itself in the name of the greater glory. Good stuff. Exactly not good stuff, by the way, also. Well, on the bright side, it's not like he has played anything. On the not-so-bright side, this is absolutely horrible. 10 out of 10 would probably be mortified horribly again. Oh, and this guy's just playing lands. Well, I'm not playing lands. At least they could have given me... Well, there, there we have it, boys. There we have it. It's... It's starting. It is 100% starting. Well, can't do too much about that, but hey, life is life. Okay, hopefully... Well, and now he doesn't have anything in the graveyard, which is probably the worst part about this whole ordeal, because it exiles stuff. Okay, need to... F well, it's not dead on one hand, but on the other, he has a tremendous advantage uh, on cards over us currently, so yeah! Great stuff, game! Great stuff! 10 out of 10 would probably not play again. 
Okay, what the hell is that? Targeted Kree target. Woof. Wow. Impressive. But that's one card in the graveyard, which is honestly, like, really good for us. Okay, and that now can be easily two cards in the graveyard. First, we need to get rid of uh, the these things. If you get rid of Arcanists and what you, what you call those things, Feathers, uh, then you're gonna be good against this deck. Otherwise, bad times. Bad times and sad times. So yeah, we're just gonna see how it goes. What happens? Uh, is he? Is he? Wait, can he even cast that? I'm not sure. Well, he just literally did nothing. Impressive. Oh, look at that! It's a feather. Die. Ah, oh, now my life seems honestly fulfilled, boys. Not gonna lie, so fulfilled. Not even funny. Yeah, that's a that's a dead bird. Absolutely loving every second of it being in the graveyard, may I add. Hopefully we get a land, because we do have this. Oh, look at that. He just instantaneously put counters on stuff. Wow, ain't ain't you a beast. We're hoping for a land. That's actually not exactly bad, but it's pretty shit. Okay, here we have an actual land. That's useful. Okay, so I would actually want to get blue... Ah, you know what? We're gonna get blue. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. No one cares. Okay, so let's see how are we gonna do this. Three things in the graveyard. Drown and lock still, uh, still, uh, happens. He's gonna attack, boys! Oh, God. He's attacking. Which means we're a-cracking. Hopefully he doesn't have God's Willing. He doesn't have God's Willing! This is the most unluckiest person in existence. Because our hand was, well, honestly, pretty terrible. Because, well, the deck's not exactly not terrible. But look at that, now he has a this thing. Whoa, the doop, the poop, the, that's so amazing. Okay, man. Wh whoever thought that Feather is a, a reasonable card to, uh, to print at two is obviously, well, honestly, should just be fired. Ah, oh, wizards, you are such poor decision makers, it honestly boggles the mind. Honestly, it does. Like, it's funny to look at things and see what happens, because, you know, it's like... Well, red usually doesn't have any cool or good cards, right? But every expansion, they get the, that one or two cards that completely blows some stupid decks out of the goddamn system. Okay, now we need to do this. Pay pay the life costs. And remove heresy. Oh yes, excellent. We can't uh, abolish, but that's honestly... He has two cards. He has only two cards. Okay. Finally, boys. It took a long time, but hey. It's starting. And when it starts, it doesn't end. Okay, yeah, you can... Oh, no, actually... No, I act... Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get rid of that. I do have Mortifies in the deck, so that's okay. But, you know, I would kind of like to honestly evade those things for now. A little bit of land thinning. That's honestly not even remotely bad. That's honestly pretty good. Okay, let's take a Swamp. Seems right. And now we can skip the turn. And then we can use this, or can't, because it costs two things. Okay, you can drop the Season of Growth, no one cares. Ah, slowly but certainly, my boys, slowly but certainly, we are getting to the point where enemy Kun is not, is just flat out not gonna be happy about life. Oh, how not happy indeed he will be. It's gonna be absolutely magnificent. Oh, we can even get rid of the Season of Growth. But, honestly, it doesn't currently bother me so much, so we might as well, like, leave it. Oh, enemy Kun, you don't even know what's gonna happen to you. Because you're an aggro deck player. That means you're kinda brainless. And why am I skipping uh, counter spells, you may ask? Well, because I essentially can. Because I can. See? 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 
He was probably thinking, yeah, there's no way that guy doesn't uh, just cry two cards to the bottom every single time he uses that. No way. He understood that I'm just messing with him. Ah, oh, almost so close, so close. But at least in standard, we have never, uh, we really don't need to worry about the fact that we're not gonna be playing against aggro because ten out of ten times you're gonna be playing against aggro. Exactly, goddamn aggro. Oh yes, boys. Oh yes. Okay, this is honestly not that bad. Well, it's kind of shit, but honestly not that bad. We're, we're not getting all, we like, our deck is pretty much split in two cost spells, and then there's a bunch of four cost spells. And currently the game's like, you know what, you don't need those four, uh, two costs at the start. Here, have a Revenge of Ravens. Seems fine, right? Oh yes, game, it does definitely seem fine. Well, at least we have a Murderous Rider. Is this gonna be some kind of Golgari shenanigan? I feel that this might may be some kind of Golgari shenanigan. Well, it may or may not be Golgari shenanigans, but honestly, I am pretty okay with it currently. Ooh, look at that! I'm gonna instantaneously murder the living shit out of that puppy. Why? Because I can mostly. But I'm not exactly a nice person on the other hand, so there is that part. Okay, what do we take? Blue? Or... I'm gonna take a swamp. We have basic land design, so everything is good. Okay, so first Revenge of the Ravens is down. Now we can just, you know, essentially hope and pray for more Revenge of the Ravens. And we have card draw, we have a lot of MacGuffins, so essentially everything should technically be really swell for it now. Also, this is not exactly the color combination I'm afraid of, so even better. Even better. The only thing I'm kind of afraid is the fact that this definitely looks like a situation uh, where enemy could, for whatever reason, may decide that it's maybe a good idea uh, to drop the hunter dude. Yes, the hunter dude. And that would not actually be to my fancies, but still fine. Still definitely fine. Oh, you're playing an alpha wolf. Oh, no, no, night pact, whatever. Well, it's dead. I hope you're proud of me, Kun. You just killed a doggy. Well, technically, that's the second doggy I killed. Wait, is this a wolf deck? <gasps> is that even possible? Boys, could this actually be a wolf deck? I have heard strange things. Yes, arguably Castle Ventress was a little bit better, but hey, I'm not exactly the smart kind. So, it's all good. And here we have Joe Rogan himself. God damn. Damn it. Well, technically... Uh, technically, we don't... Exactly can now, do we? So, first order of business is de-sparking this Cretan. Because we can't leave him alive. He's gonna, uh, he's gonna find a way to kill his doggies. And technically, those doggies don't even deal damage because they're Range of the Ravens. We're, we're, we're almost there, boys. We're almost there, boys. As I said previously before, I was rudely interrupted with this shit. Okay, more Revenge of the Ravens, huh? I'm actually extremely okay with this. Okay, let's just do that. See what happens. Okay, this should be fine, right? Three Revenge of the Ravens, his emblem gives plus three. Jesus Christ, we have some problems, boys. Okay, how is he gonna kill his own dogs now? We do have a Drown and Locked, which technically stops exactly zero AoE spells. Uh, but that's fine. Okay, good, he can't proc it instantaneously. Good, 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 good. And Kaya's Ghost Form. Uh, yeah, you can have Kaya's Ghost Form, I don't exactly care. Okay, so currently, the deck is, by the way... Oh. Well, that honestly does make a little bit of sense, but hey. 
And this, yeah, that's well, that's that that's cools kinda ish. Okay, what am I supposed to do now? Well, I'm supposed to drop this. And nothing else. Yeah, nothing else. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Still two revenges of ravens, so he can't technically do anything to us, except kill us soon-ish, kinda. Okay, so he just continues to create wolves. Yeah, it's, it's a reasonable endeavor. It's definitely a reasonable thing. Kinda of worried. He killed one of my revenges of ravens. So that's, you know, partially annoying. But he didn't do anything now, so that's good. So he's essentially stuck. As, you know, it sh honestly should be. Do I want that? Ah, yeah. Do I want that? No, I probably don't. Honestly, no, no, what exactly I wanted this time. Ah, Fae of Wishes is definitely on the list of things that I would probably want and like and whatnot. But the real question is, what do we get with Fae of Wishes? Do we get Omnixilus? Or do we just get into the story? Into the story is not going to be tremendously effective. It costs 8. Jesus Christ. If I play Revenge of Ravens, I can still at least cast something. Well, in that case, let's just do it like this. Shall we, boys? Oh, yes. We shall. Oh, man, Kai's ghost form is so annoying. Wait, are you going to actually do something, enemy con? Do you have a way? No, he can't. There's there's absolutely nothing he can do about this, right? What the hell? That's a strange sound, but whatever. It's probably ghosts yet again. Okay, enter and see what happens. He is definitely just waiting for something. Something big. Something that will kill me, but here's the... Yeah, see, this is what I was afraid of. Ah, uh, how do I do this? I can't just counterspell it. Hmm. Let's see. Is it still... Yes, it's still my turn. Okay. So, since it's still my turn, I can just do this and save the counterspell, hopefully. Okay, it's still my turn. Or is it his turn? Oh god, I did not pay attention. Full control. Full control. Oh shit. No, no, full control. Full. No, 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 no. Fuck. Come on, it was an instant. It allowed him to do it, but not me. God, this descending fucking development shit is just dumb. Oh my god, in the fucking development, everyone. What a goddamn thing. What a thing. Absolutely, unanimously amazing. 10 out of 10 in the development. Wait, did he just kill himself also? No, nah, that's 15. Oh, he's attacking with 4. Wait, that still doesn't exactly kill me now, does it? Well, ain't that hilarious? Okay, and I'm gonna just destroy one. Hey, you, 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 you can do it again, brah. You can do it again. Okay, this will be absolutely perfect. Let's see now, what is his response? Okay, that's fine. Anything he attacks with kills me, but... On the other hand, anything he attacks with also kills him. Now this is this is the exact point of the deck, my boys. Ooh, I could kill everything and be safe for one turn. That actually sounds extremely poetical. Yes, this is also gonna be the biggest Garouk you have ever seen in your pitiful lives, boys. Not gonna lie. 10 out of 10 Garouk style, boys. Woo! Yes, 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 yes. Put all those things on Garouk. 
Actually, do I even want... No, 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 this is even better. This is actually even better, boys. Factually and actually even better. And now let's play a Fae of Wishes. Just because we can. Okay, still not eight things in the graveyard. Ah, uh, what a card, boys. What a card. <laughs> Ah, uh, the great decision. Hey, I got a Garouk emblem. Pretty much everything I do kills him. No, 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 no. Revenge of Ravens, boys. Also, let's press this button right here. Uh, I want to get up Nixilis, by the way. Just to establish 300% juicy maximum dominance. None of that is useful, sadly. Draw. And not the best thing, but hey, at least it's something. Actually, I don't need that. I can just drop this now. Okay, now we're going on a counter-offensive. We're not gonna attack with Fae of Wishes also. That, that would be against the spirit of the deck we have crafted, my boys. So. Three Revenge of Ravens and three HP. Oh. Boys, have I ever told you about when stuff happens, then stuff happens pretty good? Oh, he's gonna kill the Fae of Fishes. Oh no, he didn't kill the Fae of Fishes. Well, what an absolute not mad lad. Okay, let's get the Obnixilus right here, boys. Let's, let's show Obnixilus. Ooh, an Alpha Wolf. That's really impressive enemy con. Very impressive. Very impressive indeed. I am so fearful. Ooh, scare, scaring me to... Oh. Okay, so... Wait, he has a food token. Boys? He, he has a food token that I had no idea he possesses. Okay, not good. Definitely not good. Huh. A chance to cleanse our sins. You know what? I'm gonna take it. 100% of the time, all the time, taking it. I don't think he noticed that he has a food token. Or maybe he didn't, God knows. But I'm assuming he didn't, so that's great. And now he has bigger fish to fry. Well, technically he doesn't, but hey. Obnixilus, the mighty Chad lad. He has something to kill Obnixilus. No, he doesn't. Great stuff, great stuff. Okay. So, he understands the math right here. He is dead if Obnixilus gets to do things. His only chance of survival is that food token generation. But, boys, but, is it really? Okay, he, he now has a Garuk. Now he's, well, wait, he doesn't have enough to use the food token. Okay, so how is this gonna work? If he attacks with three things, the food generation token thingamajig is definitely 100% not enough. Where's our last Fae of Fishes? God knows where she went. Okay, so we might as well actually just minus this. Because at this point, it's not about winning. Well, it was honestly never about winning. Ah, <laughs> uh, you boys, you know this. It was never about winning. <laughs> This game was never about winning in the first place. Winning is just a sweet side effect of us doing what was intended. Okay. So yeah, but you still need to attack me with, you know, two things to kill me. And anything you play will be get counterspelled, enemy kun. And you know, Obnixilus is gonna kill you if you draw cards, so... What now? Are you gonna attack? Hello! Hello! I love myself too much, not gonna lie, boys. Oh, also, small little notification. Uh, maybe I'm gonna stream next week because I did take the holiday weekend. So, there, there you have it. But back to... Hello! Oh god, boys. Man, imagine how much... Im, 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 imagine... This 100% Fury right here, boys. Wait, how is he proccing the vault? Didn't he play Garuk or do something like that? I have no clue. Anyway... Can't really do too much with this. Well, whatever.
Okay. Annoying, but what, 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 what do you want to do? Cast, cast one more of those? It's not like the emblems... Oh, boy. Man, he is, he is trying so hard right there, boys. He is just trying so hard. So hard to survive. Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. 200% No, don't kill yourself like that. Jesus Christ. Do you think you're actually going to draw... Well, no, Nixilis kills you anyway. Good game. Good game, my absolute victim. Oh, boys. Do I have to say... When a plan comes together, a plan comes together. Okay, let's try to queue up in one more. Well, let's try to queue up in one more. Hopefully it's gonna be a red aggro deco of some sort that doesn't get the tier tier of horrors really fast up. And not tier tier of horrors, but the two cost enchantment. Okay, let's see. This is pitiful. This is pitiful isk, but I'm gonna take it. Okay, uh, what do we get rid of? I uh, really well darks uh, this D spark is gonna probably be the worst card for a long while so there you have it okay red good good very good in fact now we just need to get revenge of the ravens out and everything will sl suddenly pop off okay all we need to do is Counterspell the theaters and then the okay Soren's thirst is pretty good Soren's thirst is definitely not bad Soren Chen needs his milkshakes Okay, Karn, what now? You have no idea what this okay. That's fine. Yeah, that's 100% fine Okay, Karn Uh, that can actually be played. It's gonna create one goblin, but on the other hand, we, ex we exactly care a lot. No, we don't. Because we can Sorin Chan this goblin. Ah, good stuff. Okay, please. All revenges of the ravens, like, the game now. Like, I, I mean it. I want them now. I want to see them. Okay. Well, we still have technically this bad boy. Ow. Even the goblin dealt uh, got that much damage. That's honestly a lot of annoying. Wait, one card, this is a four cost, man does not check out. Okay, so let's spear the belly of a dwarf. Great stuff. Okay, let's see. So enemy Kun has a really annoying deck because Trollbjorn actually does stuff. And I hate when enemy, uh, enemy decks do, do stuff. Also, there is a high p uh, p probability that we, yeah, kind of expected that one. Okay, so what, 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 what's the game plan here? The game, pl the game plan is simple. And I also almost said gay plan. Well, our plan is definitely gay. So, can't really blame us, can we? Okay, yeah, deal some damage, no one cares. Oh, look at that. Exactly what I wanted. Well, not really, that scares me. But, technically, it's kind of what we wanted. Technically, and he has two mana left. Ooh, light up the stain. Please don't. Oh, God, more dwarfs and shit. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's actually extremely good. Because that was, like, seriously what we wanted. Okay, this will deal with any shenanigans, penanigans, or whatever enemy Kun decides to do. So we technically no longer need to even block the dwarf. And the drought and locked will counteract anything he plays. So this is gonna be a, a all around 10 out of 10 play. Okay, he's technically almost out of cards, and I technically feel that the next card I'm gonna be drawing is gonna be useful. So he's just gonna let me block. And then he hits me with the... Fl Ooh, look at that. That's exact... Wait, what? Shit! Oh, that's honestly really, 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 really bad. Okay, let's let him equip that. 
Yeah, that's pretty reasonable. Okay, and we can just absolutely destroy targeted creature with blah blah blah. No one cares. And I actually forgot these steel things deal damage to the owner. Uh, that Ember Cleave is going to be a little bit annoying. But we do have cards that deal with Ember Cleave like there is absolutely no tomorrow. Because most in most of our strategies there is no tomorrow. That's 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 like a given statement fact already. Okay, that's not bad. Well, technically it is, but technically it's not by far the worst situation that could have possibly happened. Okay, use up all the uh, use up all of that. That's okay. Okay, good, 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 good. We can actually work with this. Okay, equip Ember Cleave. A Trollbjorn. Okay, that's really bad now. Okay, get rid get rid of this thing. Good, kinda ish, almost. Uh, not exactly anywhere near what I wanted, but life is life. Okay, now we finally got the Revenge of Ravens. So the question is... Hmm... Trample, double strike, and everything, huh? I want extra value, but I think I'm kind of forced in this situation a little bit. Okay, man, that Ember Cleave. God fucking damn it, Trollbjorn! He's. He hasn't. Oh, great. Great, 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 great. You know what's great? Everything but this situation, you know, I'm a fan of a lot of things, but that's just disgusting And he most don't know he got at least that. Okay, so essentially we're dead God damn ember queefs. I hate them so much. They are so so annoying It's literally insane how annoying. Okay, good 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 you know, I could have waited a little bit on that uh, that decision, by the way. But I'm not the type of man who waits. I'm the type of man who acts. And then, like, usually contemplates how bad his decision-making was a little bit later on. Okay, so technically at least this dies. Okay, that's good, that's useful-ish. So there's still a lot of cards we can technically draw, and it's gonna be 10 out of 10... 100% amazing. Okay, you need to understand the situation. I need to kill this, sadly, as soon as possible. Pip, it's dead. Okay, now we need draw cards. That is exactly not a draw card. That is absolute garbage in the form of lands. Okay, so at least it's 9 for 9 lands, so this technically should be 10 for 10 lands. And we're fucked! Piece of shit game. How is this even fair? I got a land and he didn't? I got one more land! Game? Game! Wait, I'm, st I'm still alive at the bare minimum. Oh, look at now, I'm dead. I'm dead. He, he figured it out. Ah, oh, come on, how hard it was to actually, like, give me some of the stuff that I so much desperately want. This is the worst part. I am so dead. Well, actually, he didn't even need the land. Oh, that's so unlucky. Man, he got all the big things. That was definitely... A, that was definitely the deck that we were supposed to make fun of. Unfair. Hey, at least a little bit of quest progress. That This has been a quest for quite some time now, I think. But yeah, let's open a pack because this made me feel almost saddened. Okay, let's see. Uh, gems. Fantastic. Let's open one more. I'm gonna assume gems. Let's see. Gems. Fantastic. And the third one's the charm. It's gonna be... Gems. Fantastic. Okay. So, hopefully the new rotation... Not rotation, but the new, uh, the new set comes out. Well, we already know when it com when it's coming out, but hey. So yeah, anyway, this was Kuzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel, check out the Discord, check out the Patreon, check out the everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.